It is a heavyweight collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Alexander Gustafsson. All right, so here he is, the former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger, Alexander Gustafsson. There was some retirement talk a few years ago, but he seems to have his head screwed on right now. Came back with that huge knockout of Glover Teixeira not all that long ago that many argue was the best performance of his UFC career. Yes, and I'm glad that Alexander Gustafsson is still here. Yeah. Because why would you leave when you still are so valuable to everything that happens in the UFC light heavyweight division? A very, very skilled striker, underrated wrestling, has scored takedowns on some of the best wrestlers the UFC light heavyweight division's ever seen. Tall, big, great cardio, a fantastic fighter is Alexander Gustafsson. And he's gonna hang around at least long enough to realize a third crack at that elusive UFC light heavyweight title. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter, those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Gustafson is four years the elder. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have a nine inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander the Baller Gustafsson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, great thing to lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chest. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Another shot lands upstairs. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Wow, 
that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Big shots being landed on both sides here. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Gustafson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, huge kick! Ooh, what a punch. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Short. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily... Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively, getting that head off of the center line and using his opponent's aggression against them. Nicely done. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Gustafson gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Well, we change off the top. He had the reach advantage, and he saw it right there with that punch. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, kick. nice combination of kicks once again. Let me see that Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, collar tie. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Single collar tie now. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Nice punch. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, second round is underway. Your okay, thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. I expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. 
option there, DC. Another punch landed. Very nice leg kick there by Choi. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at the turtle in that kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now we get back in range. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, Gustafson's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. That's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking fight. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he's wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him. He really messed with the game plan. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And he counters with a left hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw him. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two males up the cut. And they separate. Huge block there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, single collar tie here. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from the close. Single collar tie there. Joy gets the tie clinch here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, goes to the roundhouse kick now and lands. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What a devastating technique the roundhouse kick is. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Ooh, big shot land. Nice leg kick land. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Very nice leg kick there by Gustafs. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. position here. Oh, Gustafson's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. All right, single collar tie now. Gustafson gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. Great punch landed with so much power. And both guys really throwing with authority. Engage in a single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure 
who's going to control the engagements from this 50-50 position. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Nice, sneaky head kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Choice strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, collar tie. And that left hook landed on the button. And that one cut him open. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Oh, big punch land. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big leg kick land. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the... Whoa! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Good right hand. Just misses with the jet. Caught the kick. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side. He's really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Very nice leg kick there by Gustafson. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Again, back into this position. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Choi's got the tie clinch now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Head kick lands. Effective punch there by Choi. Straight right hand, no good. I mean, this guy is really. Oh! Goes upstairs for an elbow. Leg kick checked effectively there by Alexander Gustafs. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Gustafson's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Beautiful strike. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Unable to connect there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Gustafson goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice what a round. From the box. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, he doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Alexander Gusters. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Cuts him down the size. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Right hand. Oh. Oh. You are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter. You're potentially playing with fire. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your corner. Oh, really making good use of his. Oh! The knockout line. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. 
You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.